Good evening everyone, my name is Maria and welcome to Auction Export. How is everyone doing today? I hope you had a great day and that um, so far your week is going well. So today I will explain a little bit about um, how to ship the vehicles through Auction Export, how to minimize your cost, because as I understand some clients are asking about what is the best way to minimize the cost um, for export considering the location of the vehicles. So just briefly let me explain that to you. As you may understand, vehicles could um, be located at different parts across the US or Canada um, since we sell both from the US and Canada. So if you go to the shipping section on the top side of your of the website, just click on it, you will see a map. In this map you can see different ports that we have. Now let me be clear, not all the ports have service to uh, be in by Aurora to different destination countries, okay? For example, the California port, just to give you a brief example, does not have Aurora being to Nigeria, being to Ghana, being to certain African countries, even to South America, it does not offer certain Aurora options. Yes, we do have uh, Aurora to certain parts of uh, Asia and the Middle East, but uh, not all ports possess the same um, kind of service. So if you're looking to save money, if uh, you know by any chance you find a car being in Oregon, Washington, Nevada, California itself, um, just be conscious that to take the vehicle Roro, it would have to be taken to the East Coast, okay? So you're looking at your ports of the Providence Port, Baltimore, Savannah, Jacksonville, Galveston, okay? Now, uh, it's very important, uh, especially to our um, clients from Africa, to know that Grimaldi Line stops service out of New York. They no longer have service out of New York. If you would like to ship through New York, you have service but through Saloon Lines. Now, this line, yes, it's reliable, but it could take some time for this to load, for the vehicles to load. So you could take, you know, on average, if a car will uh, take about two to three weeks to clear customs, and then go for a loading. Um, through saloon lines, you're looking at longer transit times. So you have to be a little bit careful on that sense um, if you do were to decide to ship with uh, saloon lines, okay? And again, saloon lines have service through different, uh, different ports across the US, but as we understand, um, mainly our clients prefer Grimaldi lines, and with this service, you only have the Providence port uh, Baltimore, Wilmington, Savannah, Jacksonville, and Galveston. So if you were to buy a car in California, just know the price, ground price will be higher to take the vehicle from this location and take it to the east, uh, east side of the United States. You will be looking at prices uh, for over a thousand dollars within, the, you know, from this location, as you can see here, being Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, uh, North Dakota, Montana, California, all these uh, two areas in blue, you're looking at prices over a over thousand dollars just to take the car to the East Coast. Now we do offer container consolidation to different countries from California. Um, we are opening actually, uh, trying to get more services to certain destinations. So uh, you can ask any of our shipping representatives and they will be able to assist you with quotes. Always, just to be sure you're getting the right information and the right quote before you buy a car, even to ensure that the vehicle is okay to be shipped rural, just look at it, you know, just look at the vehicle, send us the lot number, which you can find on the car profile, and send us an email to either shipping at auctionexport.com or notifications at auctionexport.com. And this way, you will be able to get a quote uh, beforehand before you buy the vehicle and confirm the prices. Since, as you may understand, um, this car could be located in Maryland as per the auction, but um, the, the auction could actually have the car in a different location. And this is normal for them because their capacity um, is not as, as much in certain areas. So they sell it through one location, but they keep the cars in a different location. So you have to be careful in that regards, okay? Um, going forward, just briefly, always try to make your, your payments on time. 
and not only because you're charged either an extra late fee or something but because some auctions do charge storage and uh, we have had an, you know some clients ask because you know but why am I charged a real delivery fee and such well just note certain auctions charge could charge between 20 45 50 dollars of storage daily just for keeping the car at their location after you buy the car so being conscious is the, of this we try to take the vehicles to the closest warehouse that we have to avoid you paying for such a high cost so if we were to take the vehicle to one of our warehouses being in Georgia Texas California anywhere anywhere that you know we find close um, to the vehicles location you would be charged a delivery fee why because we would spend partial you know fees from the ground to take the car to the warehouse wait for your payment and then take it from the warehouse to the exit port so that's an additional fee yes it could save you money can just imagine if your pay uh, payment is delayed for about five to seven days at you know fifty dollars uh, per day or more you're paying over three hundred and fifty dollars just in storage charges whether you know by taking the car to the warehouse and such we you could be saving some money you know it's so it's something to take into consideration for you to always please ensure you pay on time so there's no delay in ground transportation there's no extra fees added because we, we had to take the vehicle from one location to another um, always be aware of this so that's another reason um, why we request that you will have our representatives calling you or contacting you, emailing you, asking about the confirmation of payment. It's not like because we want to be, you know, uh, on your neck and trying to request it. It's just because we're also trying to save you money in this regards. And so I understand, you know, no many companies out there do this. So this is one of the things we do to assist our clients going forward. Um, in regards to the release form, some clients have questions about how do I fill out my release form, where do I find it, um, how do I fill it out, how do I upload it. Now this process is very very simple. All you have to do is log into your auction expert profile. Now registration is free of charge for those who haven't uh, registered with us yet or who are just you know looking around to see how our process works go to your auction expert profile here you can find your profile purchases finance services and so on and so forth so on the under the quick links section you can find a tab which says vehicle release form click on this then here you will find the vehicle information of um, any car that you purchase with us click where it says form consignee form and under here you will find what it's uh, called the release or constant form that you, uh, our shipment agents will ask you for. So um, this first section is already filled out for you. This middle section indicates us where to ship your vehicle to. So let's say if you are a client in Germany and um, you want to ship the car to Ukraine, regardless of where you are, you can put here I want destination Ukraine Odessa so you will tap it down here you put the name and last name of the receiver the person who's going to receive the unit at destination the consignee information the address and the phone number now on this section here the third part you put the information on where to send the documents to so let's say you are in Germany your client is in Ukraine but you want to hold to the documents until he pays you in full for example as some clients you know resell vehicles then you would indicate us here to send the documents to Germany it doesn't matter if this differ now if it's the same location if it's the same address if it's the same person you just have to fill this middle section out and leave this one blank it doesn't matter then you print it you sign it and um, you upload it on you know next to the form just click upload you choose the file and click an upload form. Simple as that. We are enabled to upload these documents on your behalf since these are legal documents. So just please be sure that you follow that, you know, those few steps and have it uploaded on your profile. It's very simple and um, it will save you time and us time. So try to do it if you bought the car, let's say today, try to do it no later than the day after, in, the ca in this case tomorrow 
so our shipping agents know that they have the right information to get a dock receipt or get a booking for for your vehicle either that it goes Roro or it goes container now before we finalize this webinar let me just briefly um, give you a little bit of hints in regards of our shipping services so you go to the auction expert section you go to shipping you click on shipping services in here you will find a few methods of transportation usually Roro takes around 45 to 60 days this is for cars that go regular Roro if <coughs> the vehicle goes by container it could take um, about 10 days two weeks extra for those cars that go by container consolidation and if it goes Roro forklift depends on the shipping line it could if it goes by Grimaldi lines it usually it's about the same time for loading for for vehicles that were to go by forklift or if it's a loom line it may take longer so you can see here in our services if, if you are a buyer who usually buys three to four cars ask us how much is to ship a 40 foot container with four cars this way you can save money because it's cheaper to do a 40 foot with four cars and we have warehouses as you could see all around the the US so we can give you a quote in that regards so check on prices with us we're trying to um, provide you know faster service now so again shipping at auctionexport.com or notifications at auctionexport.com for you know quicker updates okay now last um, in regards of the Roro there's different uh, methods right now to ship um, vehicles Roro as I understand not everyone likes container consolidation so if we can ship the car by Roro forklift which is the third option we will do our best to ship the car Roro forklift but just keep in mind that not all vehicles qualify for regular Roro in order for a car to go Roro it must pass the shipping lines conditions okay so just be keep that in mind before you buy a vehicle so for example I'm gonna click on this buy now and I'm gonna look at the condition of the car it says green it's a run and drive unit not because it's green and it says run and drive it means that it could go Roro that just means that the vehicle you know they put the key in there they started it and um, they moved it you know straight so that is um, that is what it mainly means now if you look at the vehicle it looks fine the body looks fine the left side of the car looks fine the tires let's check the tires we have to look at the tires because it seems like this one is pointing left and this one is pointing right so if the tires are not aligned then it cannot go Roro so whenever you're looking at the vehicle you know take a close look the this looks straight as possible the pictures were taken at different times so you can ask your sales uh, your sales agent in that regards okay to make sure that it, it's verified so tires must be aligned no broken glass driver's door must be intact the door handle should be okay should be there and the gas tank also should not be damaged for a vehicle to go Roro it cannot be flooded it cannot be burned those cars are not allowed to go Roro by based on the shipping line now in case a vehicle does not start and there's just slightly damage even though if the car could be a non-runner then you can send this option as Roro towable there is an extra fee for these uh, for Roro towable but it's possible to have the vehicle shipped um, as a, as a Roro option okay so even though the car doesn't doesn't is not non-drivable unit as long as the tires are fine everything the body most of, at least most part of the body is fine then you can sh uh, ship this vehicle by Roro towable see like this car is non-drivable but um, everything looks fine on it so there's a key it's important for cars to go have a key in case you want to send them Roro towable let's see front end yep there's it's not flooded so you can go rural towable in that case not all countries offer this option so you can always inquire with us and last um what most clients are not aware about it's the um, uh, rural forklift okay so the rural forklift is vehicles pretty much that have been completely damaged like let's say this let's look at this car so as you can see this uh, vehicle it has a rollover let's look at the pictures 
the windshield is completely damaged, so that by fact will not be accepted as rotor or rotor toolable. Okay, so just be sure that this unit will be going by rotor forklift. In that case, you know the shipping line will get a forklift, the auction will forklift into our driver's trailer, and then it will go to the terminal in the same um, the same way, in f you know in the in, in the driver's trailer, and then be forklifted out. So let me see if I can find uh, the ports so right now. To parts of West Africa, we have rural forklift only available to j from Jacksonville and Providence. Now the service is on and off depending on how full the lines are. So just keep this in mind. You can always ask us. If there's something you don't want, you can always inquire. If your car was scheduled to go by container consolidation, you can ask if you can go rotable to uh, or forkliftable. And if so, how much would it be? Remember, you will get the closest exit port or warehouse. So it's possible that your invoice will reflect the closest warehouse to send it by consolidation if that's the cheapest. But if you want it to be sent by forklift, it's possible. It could be possible, but the ground transportation uh, price may be a bit higher. Of course, the ocean price too is higher because it's a different service that requires additional equipment. Okay, so I'm gonna leave um, you guys today just with uh, you know with this brief reminder about how shipping works. If you have any questions please feel free to ask. It's better to ask ahead of time than, you know, have uh, any inquiries or doubts about um, the services that we provide. Also, if you have any vehicle around the U.S. that um, you happen being that you own and you want to export it to your country or you found a car elsewhere and you want us to buy it for you or you just have a car around that you need us to ship for you, let us know. We also provide that service. We understand that um, we have had complaints from clients that bought vehicles elsewhere and then were, you know, disappointed by shipping services from other providers. So we have this service. In case you have any vehicle, let us know. We will ship it for you and you can use our tracking system t pretty much from the time the vehicle is picked up until the vehicle is loaded and some of... Uh, some of our services do offer um, the live tracking. So you will be able to see pictures depending on how the car is being shipped. You can see when the car was dispatched, delivered, it cleared customs, it was loaded, and when the documents were being sent. That's one of the options that we offer, okay? So again, if you have any questions, just feel free to contact us and we will be more than happy to assist you, okay? So this was Maria, and in UK again, in case you have any questions, you can contact shippingadoptionexport.com, marketingadoptionexport.com, salesadoptionexport.com, and we will be more than happy to assist you. Have a great evening and rest of the week, and we hope to see you again. Thanks for buying, and thanks for being with us.